Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we're going to be discussing one of my personal favorite Ninjago crystallized sequences thus far, that of course being the Civil War conflict between the Ninja team, specifically Kai and Jay. My plan for today's video is to go over my thoughts on the scene in question coming from episode 3 of Ninjago crystallized entitled The Shape of Nia, and I want to touch on a few major points. What exactly made that scene work? Why do I love the scene so much? And do I feel satisfied with this rendition of Ninjago? Civil War, if you will. For those that don't know, throughout my time as a Ninjago fan, I've been asking for Ninjago Civil War for a very, very long while. And like I said, we're going to be diving into a specific conflict that happened during Ninjago Crystallized. That's pretty much the closest thing that we're going to be getting to Ninjago Civil War. Before we jump on into the scene, though, I must give you guys a very quick spoiler warning. This video will, in fact, contain major spoilers for Ninjago Crystallized, especially Episode 3, The Shape of Nia, and possibly the entire season from what we have so far in terms of the first 12 episodes. So with that being said, why don't we jump on into my favorite scene from Ninjago episode 3, The Shape of Nia, so I can explain my point of view and explore why exactly I love this scene so much. Alright guys, so here we are over on the Ninjago crystallized episode known as The Shape of Nia. This is of course episode 3 of the entire Ninjago crystallized season, and this is the scene that I want to take a look at right here. Featuring the ninja after they just got back from, I guess, being beaten by the new fake ninja, or as I call them, the Starburst Ninja, and here's where we we see the conflict grow. Now, like I said, I just want to give my thoughts on this scene, talk about the themes of tension, conflict, and betrayal in this scene uh, specifically, and I just love how this scene is constructed. All of the ninja are going through some type of hardship here, with each other as well. Not only is the conflict within themselves, but they also have tension between each other. For example, Zane and Lloyd here get into a little bit of an argument. Zane is kind of indifferent over the new ninja, since of course he disabled his emotion chip or whatever. Lloyd is absolutely losing his mind, he can't stand being replaced or forgotten, and he loses it at Zane, asking him if he even cares, and I just love Zane's, <laughs> Zane's reaction to this entire situation. He's like, do I care? Um, not really, I'm kind of indifferent on everything right now because my name's Zane, that's how I operate. Even Jay and Kai are kind of shocked by Lloyd and just how much he lashes out at Zane. The conflict may be very much one-sided from Lloyd's perspective, Zane doesn't really care, but I just love how Cole is being used here as sort of the heart of the group. The rock that basically brings the entire team together, no pun intended of course because Cole is the earth ninja, but Jay even pipes up here, talking about how each of the ninja is experiencing grief in their own way, and Kai finally lets his feelings get loose as well. We saw this during episode 1 of Crystallized as well, when the ninja eventually went ahead and rescued Jay from the lighthouse, you could see that Kai gave Jay that look of anger, maybe even disappointment, at the sight of what Jay was doing with all of these water glasses, which I'm sure you guys know uh, is basically the only way Jay feels connected to Nia. Kai accidentally spills one here because of course he's Kai and that's just the type of thing that he does. Now obviously it was indeed an accident over on Kai's end and Jay is not having any of it. Even though it may have been an accident, Jay absolutely loses it here. Kai tries to apologize but Jay is not having any of it and uh, this is where this is where the real conflict starts here folks. This tension between Kai and Jay is definitely a lot more, I guess, prevalent, a lot more obvious than the conflict between Lloyd and Zane. Kai immediately goes into battle mode after being kicked away by Jay. He's not having any of it. He lights up his flames. He goes, oh, that does it. And I just love Vincent Tong's performance here uh, through Kai. You can actually tell that he's angry. He's legitimately upset by what Jay did. And Jay, in retaliation, decides to spark up his own hands. And thus, the conflict breaks out. The standoff begins between Kai and Jay. This is the main source of, I guess, the Civil War conflict here between Kai and Jay. Like, like I said, the tension between Zane and Lloyd is prevalent, but Kai and Jay, this is basically the breaking point. They've kind of had a little bit of tension throughout the first couple of episodes of Crystallized, like I said, but this is when, uh, for lack of a better term, all heck breaks loose. Gonna use the heck word instead of H-E double hockey sticks. But here's the battle that we saw in the trailer. Uh, Kai's fire and Jay's lightning intercept, and Nia over here is doing her little bubbly bubbly, whatever you call that. Look at the anger in Kai's face. The animation in this scene as well definitely showcases the emotions of these two characters. Look at how angry Kai is, man. That's insane. That's very, very cool. The sprinklers start kicking in, Master Wu comes running in, and then we are introduced to this shot right here. Master Wu comes running in, and this basically best describes the Ninjago crystallized conflict. Kai on one end, Jay on the other end, the ninja team trapped in the middle. I just love how well this scene plays out. Obviously, the scene is broken, the tension is broken when Nia returns. More so, the conflict is prematurely resolved without actually resolving said conflict as Nia comes back and 
beckons to Jay, hey, I need help, bro. I'm falling apart because I'm Nia and I'm made of water. This is what I do. You could also argue that maybe the scene continues here. The Civil War tension continues between the ninja team when Zayn freezes Nia. Jay kind of lashes out at Zayn uh, immediately after Zayn freezes Nia. But obviously that tension gets wrapped up pretty quick. The main source of conflict between the ninja team in this episode is definitely between Kai and Jay. But I enjoyed just how broken the entire team is. Like Jay said, the ninja are all dealing with Nia's loss a little differently, and there's a lot of other problems on top of just Nia not being here. The ninja are being replaced, Lloyd's questioning his leadership, half the team doesn't even want to be there, Zayn has turned off his emotion meter, and Cole is just trying his best to hold the entire team together. You gotta feel bad for Cole, man. I just love how Cole actually acts like a leader here uh, for the first time in a long time. That was refreshing to see. But overall, guys, I loved the tension in this scene. I'm kind of disappointed that the Civil War conflict from Ninjaga was wrapped up a little bit early, dare I say, but we're only 12 episodes into the season. I imagine eventually we will get back to this type of conflict here between Kai and Jay. I feel like that tension is not over just yet. The conflict is not resolved. We'll probably see them patch things up later in the season officially. Throughout the rest of the episodes that we had already, though, it did kind of seem as though their uh, relationship was mended once again. They complement each other a little bit. They definitely showcase some friendship. But in this scene, friendship is basically the last thing on their mind, even going as far as to send out threats that, hey, we're going to quit the team. Kai threatens to quit. Jay threatens to quit. It's a big mess. But overall, it's a good mess. It's a fantastic mess. I love seeing tension between the team, especially because they've been together for so many years. It's kind of unrealistic to suspect that they would just get along over everything. There needs to be some drama. There needs to be some tension here. And I just love how well this scene displays that between Kai and Jay especially. Sure, Zayn and Lloyd have some conflict there, but the main problem is between Jay and Kai, like I said. And I just love how well the scene basically described their feelings for each other and their feelings towards the entire situation. And with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts in today's video. Just wanted to make a quick video going over this scene because it's one of my favorites from Ninjago Crystallized so far, and I just love just how emotionally driven this scene is, and I think it only does good for the ninja. But like I said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Leave all your thoughts about this scene down below in the comments. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this entire situation. Do you think that Civil War, uh, Civil War in heavy quotations, wrapped up a little too quickly, or do you think this this tension between Kai and Jay, and of course the rest of the ninja, was enough to, I guess, give Ninjago fans that Civil War type feeling. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and that'll pretty much do it for my thoughts here today. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll talk to you guys again later. Peace.